Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 We Wear Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Drift Mania. I don't know why they've added the extra eye and I'll probably be fair said about five eyes there but it's basically a racing game and I personally think it's the best racing game on the WiiWare service and it is just good fun especially if you like retro games like Championship Sprint. So at the start you basically get a choice between Championship, Multiplayer and Options. It's actually 8 player which is brilliant as well. Options utterly basic, utterly useless to be fair. Multiplayer is very good fun and that's what I'm going to show you first because it's basically what the game's revolved around. Basically you get a choice between different weight classes and different cars and there's a load of stuff that you have to unlock but there's also a load of stuff unlocked right at the start. So there's even things like uh, tractors over there and police cars and like nice little Porsche type things and, all, and VW vans and stuff. But you then get to choose between different race tracks and types and that and you can also get uh, arenas as well to play on and things like that. But before actually going into the race, I might as well mention there's 32 cars over 4 categories as I say, like weight classes and that. There's 12 tracks, 3 arenas um, and there's also 7 modes as well and the modes there's some really cool stuff. For example, there's uh, the potato mode where the whole point is you have to get the potato and be the one who has the potato for the longest, like the most throughout the game. There's a uh, meteorite mode where there's meteorites raining down on the track and then there's just standard modes like team mode and normal mode where you just all race for yourself. The whole point is to just go around the track in the right way and basically be the first across the finish line. This is what I mean though by the fact that if you like championship sprint you'll probably like this because it's done in the same tops down style. The only problem is the vehicles can be very hard to control because they're always drifting because well, that's the whole point of it called drift mania and if you use traditional races that you have to actually do put effort into drifting then you're probably going to go all over the place and hell you might even be hating the game and never want to play it again but if you persist with it and learn how your car moves and basically learn when to turn on that and get used to the drift it is actually a very good game at least I think so I think it's very fun very playable because of the amount of stuff that it's got on it and the amount of players it can have and it's just a daft to any party game that you can have great fun with mate with But while the multiplayer modes are pretty much where it's at and where you're going to be spending your time, there is also a great single player mode of championship modes. And that's basically how you unlock things, by doing the championship mode and by also doing a Smash Bros. Now if you don't know what that means, basically in Smash Bros the whole point is, pretty much everything that could be unlocked on the one player mode could be unlocked just by playing a lot of multiplayer races. Well, not races, obviously multiplayer fights, but on this it's... Well, play a load of races on the multiplayer and you'll unlock the stuff, so that's really cool because it's there for people who don't want to play the game on single player because they might enjoy it on single player. I've got games that I hate on single player but love on the multiplayer, so I'm glad that that's there as an option. But it's just basically one of those things, I think that there's going to be a lot of people who like retro races who are going to love this, and then there's going to be a lot of people who only want new things who are going to hate this because there's no online, and in their minds everything should have online. So if you've got mates to play it with in local, you're going to have a blast, but if you want it solely for an online, then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Pretty much though, the only things I've got left to mention are graphics and music really. Graphically, I do actually think it looks really nice. It's the type of thing that it's kind of cell shaded but not cell shaded because the, the cars look a bit cell shaded but the rest of it doesn't. And musically, it's... Well, it's all kind of like upbeat jazz music, I suppose, something like that. So I'll just shut up for a bit, let you listen while I show off the Oasis and the snow tracks. So that, that way I've at least been able to show off the four different types of, well, theme, really. Well, that was a bit of the music, and we've heard the only things I haven't mentioned is control types, because you can control it using the Wiimote on its side, or, and this is the odd thing, on the multiplayer modes, on the single player you've got just the Wiimote, on the multiplayer modes you can plug a nunchuck in, or you can plug a classic controller in. I honestly don't understand where the hell the design, well, premise came in there. Why allow different control types, but only for multiplayer? 
It just doesn't make sense to me. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.